creating faceless YouTube videos is one of the greatest business models right now. People are making thousands of dollars every single month without ever showing their face. One of the greatest niches out there are documentary videos. These channels are raking up millions of views and you're probably sitting there telling yourself that's nice for them, but I don't have the skills to create these videos or I don't have the money to hire some fancy editor or use expensive programs like Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So I asked myself, is it possible to create high quality faceless videos in a simple and free program like Canva? As it turns out, you absolutely can. I managed to create a faceless video with arguably the same, if not even better quality than any other high production channels. So in today's video, I will show you exactly how to set up your own unique channel, how to come up with your channel name, custom logo, and banner. Then I will show you how to create a viral script that all the big channels use. And then I will show you how you can get a free professional voiceover. And at the end, I'll guide you how to simply edit everything together in Canva. And it's all very easy to do. But before you get too excited, YouTube does require you to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time to monetize your channel, which can be a real pain in the ass as you are starting out. If you want to skip the grind to 1,000 subscribers where you initially won't earn a dollar back, there are websites like monetized accounts where you can buy pre-monetized YouTube channels. They are all organic and have a Western audience, meaning their RPM is the highest it can get. Usually it takes around six months to get a channel monetized, but with these, you can earn ad revenue on your first post. So if you are in the market for something like this, feel free to use my code grow with AI. Now, before we start with the tutorial, I just want to mention that this won't be some high paced one minute video. I will show you absolutely everything from start to finish every single button I press to create these videos. I have studied over hundreds of successful channels and by following what I will show you today, you will go from a YouTube beginner to faceless YouTube master. The first step is obviously to create a channel. So head over to YouTube and click on your profile picture. Then you want to hit the switch account and view all channels and you will be taken here where you want to press create a new channel. If you have a name in mind, type it in here and press create. If not, we can use ChatGPT to come up with one. So head over to ChatGPT and paste in this prompt to make it super easy for all of you. I have prepared this document with all the steps and prompts we will go through in this video. I don't want any money for it. It's free. So head over to my community and in the free resources section, look for a link labeled Canva history. Link for the community is in the video description. After you have the prompt ready, hit generate and it will give you 10 name suggestions to choose from. I think this one sounds really good, so I'll just copy it and paste it in YouTube. Now you want to hit create and your channel's ready, but we can't leave it like this. So the next step is to create a logo for the channel. To do this, head back over to ChatGPT and paste in this prompt and hit generate, and it will give you a detailed prompt that we can use in any AI image generator out there. For this tutorial, I'll use Leonardo AI since it's free when you're starting out. So once you're in the image generator, make sure you have the aspect ratio set to one to one. This will make the image be in a square shape, which is what we need for our logo. Now copy the image prompt from ChatGPT and paste it into this prompt box and hit generate, then wait for the images to be created. Now pick the one you like the most and download it by clicking on this button, then head back over to YouTube and upload it here. Now that we got our channel ready, it's time to get into the actual video creation. So the first thing we need to do is to find a viral topic. One important thing for you to take away from this video, your topic is 90% of the reason either your video goes viral or not. No one cares if you have the best editing if your topic sucks. Luckily, since we are creating videos in the documentary niche, which is quite an evergreen niche, there are not really any trends we need to take into consideration. Instead, we can take inspiration from our competitors. For this example, I will do a video about history of Egypt since it's a proven concept and the video will attract views for years. So now click on share and copy the URL of the video. Next, you head over to this website called Tactic to extract the script. Then you just press this button that copies the script and you can head over to ChatGPT. What you want to do next is paste the script in this exact prompt I have prepared for you in the step-by-step -step document. And this prompt is going to make ChatGPT analyze the script and give us a full breakdown on what's good about it and what could have been done better. Now that we fed ChatGPT with all the info it needs, ask it to generate the new revised script. And in a couple of seconds, ChatGPT will write the entire script for you. Gee, what is up next? Hi, Ann. That's quite a tutorial you are doing here. Yeah, we are going through absolutely everything there is to know. I see. 
So you have made the viral script, right? Yeah. So it's now time to generate the voiceover. We will use Eleven Labs for this since they have the most realistic sounding voices and it's really cheap. Once you are in Click On Voices, here you can go with one of their pre-made voices. From my personal experience, the Paddington voice is spot on for these documentaries. So to use it on the right click on this small icon and then you want to head over to the text to speech tab, first choose the voice you've picked. Now start off by copying the script from ChatGPT and paste it into Eleven Labs. I wouldn't recommend you to change these settings unless you know what you're doing because it can make your voice sound robotic. Now hit generate speech and after a few seconds your voice has been generated and I suggest you listen through it so that it sounds natural. Sometimes it can mess up and give you some weird anomalies and it can be a pain in the ass if you realize that when you have edited the video, trust me, once everything is good, click on this button to download it. Now it's time to create our documentary video. We will do this part in Canva. The reason we are using Canva is mostly because it is free and very easy to use. So when you are logged in on Canva, you want to click on this button that says create. Here, you will be able to find templates on pretty much anything social media related. But you want to click on the search bar and type in YouTube video. Once it shows up, click on it and it will set the right dimensions for you. First things first, go to the left and click on uploads. Now press this button that says upload files and find the voiceover we have downloaded in Eleven Labs. Once it's uploaded in this bar to the left, click on it and drag it onto the screen. Like this. First thing I'm going to do is create a short dramatic intro that will hook the viewer. So to do that, click on this button to add a new scene and then drag it to the front. Then change the background color to black and change the duration of the scene to 0.5 since we don't want the build up to be too long. Next, I will show four images of what the video will be about. In this example, it will be pyramids and here is why Canva is the best. On the left, click on elements and search for pyramids and you will be presented with hundreds of free images. Now I like this one, so I will drag it onto the timeline and adjust the size and then set the duration to one second. To add another scene, you have to click between two scenes and select add page. For the next image, I will go for something like Egypt. To make it more interesting, I will add a video for this scene, but the scene will be one second long, so I will speed up the video a little bit. And to do that up here, select playback and increase the video speed, then again change the scene duration to one second. Now I'm going to repeat these steps for two more scenes. All right, we are done, but I do think that the first scene is a bit boring. However, I'll show you a great trick on how you can bring your images to life. Simply click on edit photo here. Look for a background remover. Then we have to search for a video we can use as a new background. Something like a sunset video will be spot on. Now, as you can see, it covers the whole photo instead of just the background. To fix this, you want to go to position and select send to back and to easily keep track of all your videos and images. Simply click on layers and here you can select video or image individually to make adjustments. For now, click on the sunset image and play with the position a bit and then change the duration to one second. Another trick that works really well, especially in documentary videos, is to add camera overlay effect. In the elements tab, search for camera overlay. This one is fine, so adjust the size and then up here, click on these cubes and decrease the transparency to something like 20%. And again, don't forget to set the duration to one second. Now I will simply copy this effect and place it on other scenes. This is how it looks so far. And this is not very impressive. The scenes and images are good, but the overall package is not good. Literally, only one person would enjoy watching this. Gee, hold on, because there is one simple trick to make. This seems extremely impressive. Let me tell you all a little secret. You don't need to be a great video editor to make good videos. However, you need to be good at sound design. Sound design is simply picking the right music and sound effects and putting them at the right time of the video. But picking the right sounds and music always depends on your type of video. And I highly I highly recommend you look closely at other successful videos. I have also put a list with sound effects inside the free document, so you can use those as a starting point. I always like to use riser, whoosh, and impact sound effects. Now just repeat this process for all the sound effects in your video. I'm also going to add a video of some camels for the next part of the documentary. And finally, let me show you the start of the video with the sound effects, so you know what I mean, with you need to be good at sound design.
I think we can all agree that that's looking much better now. Gee, what do you think? I have to say I'm impressed. I told you. Now what you want to do is simply play the video and listen closely to the voiceover to determine where to switch up the footage. Place the timing bar on the point where you want to switch up the footage, right click and choose split page. Then again, go to elements and search for the footage you want to place in the new scene. Adjust the size so it fits the whole screen. Now you get the point. All you got to do is repeat this for the rest of the video. So let me speed up this process and I will get back to you when I'm done. All right, now the last step is to add transitions in between scenes. Don't worry, it's pretty simple. All you got to do is hover between the scenes and click on this icon that says add a transition. Here, choose the transition that best fits your video style. But keep in mind, you definitely don't need to add transition for every scene. Again, the easiest way is to look at the other successful videos in your niche and see how they are using them and use it as inspiration. But for me, I like to use slide and fade transitions. Now we are almost done. All that's left to do is to add a few more sound effects for the transitions you have added. Because when you added a slide animation, the whole screen is sliding to a side. So it would be appropriate to add a whoosh sound effect to make it feel more realistic. And now that's it. You have just learned how to create your own unique channel, as well as how to create a viral script for free, similar to what all the big creators spend big money for. Then you have learned how to create a professional voiceover for your viral script. And finally, you know how to easily edit everything together with a cinematic style quality. But before I show you the final result, if you found this video helpful and want to know how you can use Canva to create more faceless videos, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you want any help on your journey, free of charge, join my Discord community and ask whatever question you need, and I will happily help you. Now here is the final result. Egypt is one of the biggest ancient mysteries. It has always been famous for its incredible feats of structural engineering. And even though we continuously make new discoveries, most of Egypt's secrets are still hidden deep beneath the endless scorched sands. The mysteries and achievements are so incredible that even some of the greatest scientists believe the Egyptians must have been in contact with alien beings. But is this actually true?